thing to know is that your mind, my mind, our minds, are not that great at understanding the difference between fantasy and reality. I love this point, especially in how it plays out in relationships, like in your dating life. Most of us have had that experience of what we call infatuation, this sort of intensity that we often try and attribute to just physical reactions to say that it's, oh, it's just all biochemical. And yet in my experience, that is an incomplete explanation. What you also see is this overlay of a fantasy that we all put on the relationship. And this is not an unreasonable thing to do. You're filling in the gaps of your knowledge with your fantasy about who this person is. Some things you might be right about and some things very, very wrong. And all of that is not only okay, but a really healthy and reasonable way to approach it as long as you understand that's what's happening. That you don't really yet know the difference between the fantasy and the reality. The problems come in when we buy into the fantasy and assume that they're all true. And then either move forward too quickly because we assume certain things are true and find out later they're not and now find ourselves stuck in a relationship. Or after a breakup, mourn the loss not only of the actual relationship, but the fantasy one we were having as well. 